हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एट द मोमेंट एंड एंजॉयिंग योर स्टडीज सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इट्स अ नन लीनियर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड विद दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप यू नो व्हाट इज पी एंड क्यू आई ऑलवेज रिमाइंड यू व्हाट इज पी एंड क्यू योर पी इज योर डेल जेड बाय डेल एक्स and your q is del z by del y these are just notations which we use throughout this chapter now how to solve this type of question our first objective is to make this function of p comma q because this is the first standard form if you want to use that you will have to make this format so how can we do so take 1 to the lhs so p square minus q square minus 1 equals to 0 you have successfully obtained the standard form which is p square minus q square minus 1 equals to 0 now it's uh, let's name this equation number 1 so solution of equation number 1 is given by is given by so its solution is given by simply z equals to ax plus by plus c okay but this is not a sufficient thing because we don't want to write this three constant a b and c we are fine with c but we want to interchange a in terms of b or b in terms of uh, a so that we are left with only two constant so for that we have a condition given where f of a comma b is equal to 0 now you must be thinking how to get the function of a comma b so that is simple just you have to do uh, one replacement so replace your p by a and your q by b in the end of this question i will say why we replace p by a or q by b that's a simple uh, proof for that the p by a and q by b once you do so so let's name this as equation number 2 okay so this is your equation number 1 so from from equation number 1 if you see what will now equation number 1 become when you replace p by a it is become a square minus b square e minus 1 Uh, or from equation number two to be more precise, because this is uh, the standard form. So a square minus b square equals to zero, and let's name this as equation number three. Now you have got uh, now. Now what is the significance of this equation? Why we have written this equation so that we can write a in terms of b or b in terms of a. so i want to write b in terms of a so what i will do i will uh, write uh, a uh, take b to the other side so i will get b square equals to a square minus 1 now if you want to write b from here it will be plus minus under root a square minus 1 so from equation number 3 now if i want to see equation number 3 i can rewrite that as z equals to ax plus instead of b i will write plus minus under root a square minus 1 times y plus c so this is your final answer it's easy i think because uh, just two or three steps was there first was to get function of p comma q 
second was to write the solution third was to get a function of f of a comma b and just one thing is there write either a in terms of b or b in terms of a that simple it is so i hope you are not facing difficulty in uh, this first standard form i have solved half a dozen of question uh, based on this format so i think you will you if you see all type of question try to solve that by yourself uh, all the question you will find in my playlist of uh, partial differential equation where i have solved questions on different topic beginning from uh, formation of partial differential equation till the uh, all the types of solution is given in that playlist so i wish you see that playlist and learn a lot about partial differentiation a uh, partial differential equation not only from the point of examination but also to the point of your personal interest as well so i hope you understood it thanks and have a very nice day